Hello and welcome back to another session of Hanging with Professor. My name is Justin Lefby and I'm the Professor of Real Estate. Some of the things I just kind of want to get across to you when we have these sessions, we're just trying to show you techniques, tips, tricks, things like that that will help you not only understand technology but help you leverage technology to make your life better. I believe totally that technology can help you grow your business, leverage your business, and just simply make your life easier. I know we don't always feel that way, so I'm hopefully going to show you some nice tips and tricks throughout the way to help make that life easier for you. Today what we're going to do is we're going to cover mobile. Mobile is a big thing in this arena and we really need to have an idea of how you're going to do that and what kind of presence you want to have out there. Now we probably won't hit all that stuff today, but I do want to run through some quick stats and then kind of follow up with showing and telling you some things and get you to start thinking about some stuff that you want to work inside this arena. So, stats. Just straight internet stats, 48% of all searches start online. Now some of that is broken down to just regular websites, Google, Bing, things like that for searches. But the other one is you will have some of that that will be branded. Some people actually go to a brand, uh, branded website would be like your company website to do some searches and find information out there. Uh, as far as internet goes and mobile goes, the, there are some big numbers. I picked and choose the numbers I'm telling you guys today because I think they just tell a bigger story right now. Two hours a day, people are on their mobile devices. They just saw mobile smartphones. They're out there doing whatever, playing games, looking stuff up, chatting, whatever. This is where they're out there. This is where they're at for exposure purposes. One out of every four searches is done on a mobile device. That's a whole lot being done from a mobile device from a really small atmosphere, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone. And then you have 224 million active users monthly on mobile devices on smartphones. That's a lot. And again, we're going to kind of follow up with some of these stats mean. As far as real estate goes in the mobile world and just searching in general, 92% of all searches start online. That bounces between 91 and 93 the last few years. It's out there. But basically what I want to think about from 2009, that's a 253% growth from that stuff. It's huge. That's a huge number that you want to keep in track of and you want to make sure you're handling. On weekends, 59% of all searches are done from a smartphone or tablet or mobile device of some sort. That's huge. Think about what they're doing and think what that's telling us. We're going to talk about that here in a second. And then the other big number that just speaks, it just started screaming at me, so that's what we put in here. It's not necessarily about searches, but it just talks about presence. And that is $27.2 billion last year was spent in mobile advertising in real estate. So what do all these stats mean? And what do, what do we need to take out of it? Real simple. One, one out of four searches are starting online. You need to have a mobile web presence. Plain and simple. If you don't have one, you're, you are missing an, exp uh, you're missing an opportunity. Now, it doesn't mean you have to have an app. Uh, there's basic interpretations of what stats mean, if it should be an app or shouldn't be an app. Obviously, branding yourself is always a good thing. But you can have a mobile responsive website and have that stuff scale up and down, and that will satisfy most of those needs and, and get it out there and still keep your Google juice and stuff going for you. The other thing that catches me is two, <laughs> two hours every day is online on your phone. That means they're checking at all time. You know, they're Facebooking, they're Twittering, they're chatting with their friends, they're doing whatever. And that's where people are at. That's how people are communicating, Snapchatting, whatever they're doing it, they're out there. You need to be available. Now, I'm not encouraged being a 24-7 realtor. That's a hard thing to do. But you do need to be accessible and you need your consumers want to know that they can reach you when they want to reach you. You've got to pick and choose your poison, but find things that make that life easier for you. So the other numbers I think that mean so huge thing is... Again, 59% of all real estate is done on the weekends, is done from a smartphone. That's huge. Again, you want to be accessible. So, does it mean QR codes? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of QR codes. I think there are some unique things you can do with them outside the box, but putting a sign writer with that on there, I don't think is doing it. But having things like text me for more information or text this number to get more pictures, or if you have questions, you know, whatever, have that out there. Maybe have a Snapchat icon on there, have something that sticks out. They will say, look, communicate with me and I'll give you more pictures, boom, whatever. There are things out there. Instagram, click here for more Instagram pictures. You know, whatever, you can have things like that. And I think you need to have it out there to be out there and give to your clients to have things ready for you. Be prepared and have it out there because 59% of searches are being done on a mobile device, which most likely means if it's a mobile device, it means they're mobile, which means they're looking at houses and driving around. Got to be there. Got to have some sort of presence for it. 
and stick with what's going on out there. Last one that really screams at me is $27.2 billion. That's a huge number for advertising on mobile, and that's just real estate. So what does that mean? I believe in today's world, it's pay to play, which I'm simply saying this. Facebook, you used to be able to, um, Twitter and even Google Plus, you used to be able to just simply put out there and get the experience and people would come find you because they're talking and communicating and you're grabbing this relevance. Now that still works to a degree. If you've done it a long time ago, you built enough history with people that you're still getting that. But for anybody new or anybody just starting with this, you're gonna have to look to do advertising dollars. Facebook, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, whatever it is, you're gonna look to spend some money because that's how you're gonna get that exposure and that's how you're gonna get inside there. Now there are some techniques that go out there but they take longer, but even them, they will go away at some point in time. I totally believe this. And if you really wanna be ahead of the game, I would be looking at mobile video advertising because I think that's where it's at, or mobile ad, app advertising. I think that's where the money's gonna be at in the future and that's where you're gonna have the best bang. So, things to take away from this. One, get a web presence. Make sure your website is mobile responsive, period. Try to find ways out there. If you don't have that, find something that can make it done for you. Two, look at ways and find ways to communicate with your clients quickly and efficiently at their time schedule. Again, don't become a 24-7 realtor, but find ways to be out there and make life accessible for you. And three, start setting away and start picking the tools you want to start spending money on and start looking at doing some advertising dollars for real estate. Again, it can be Zillow, Truly, or whatever you want to do. To me, it's just something you got to do. And I'm always about free, but I think these are things that are unfortunately quickly going away. So I hope you like that little quick session. Next thing we're going to talk about is your mobile device itself. I'm going to show you a couple tools that help you not only locate your devices, but secure if it gets lost or stolen because this is where we're at. Again, our, our phone is our life. And we need to make sure we have that stuff out there. So thanks for listening. Hope it helped. Talk to you soon. Okay, so for this session, what we're going to talk about real quick is just a real basic security essential I think is necessary for any iPhone or Android user. I get a lot of questions about what if I lost my iPhone or I've done this, or I get a lot of people saying I lost my iPhone or I lost everything and I couldn't find it. And that goes for Android too. Uh, so I say first and foremost, the best application out there in the iPhone world is Find My iPhone created by Apple. It will not only let you find your device, wherever it is, it will let you lock it. It will also let you remove it and clean it out. So you can find this device, you can set alarms for it, you can do about anything you want inside here, here uh, and relatively easily. So right, you got play sound, lost mode, and erase the, you know, erase the device. So you have the ability to do a lot from this device, real simple. So it's basic, I'm not gonna to get too much detail, it's simple, it's, it's really user friendly. Most Apple products, that's what they are, they need to be very uh, low maintenance in that regards, uh, which is an app. Android, on the other hand, has already built this into the system, it's called Android Device Manager. So when you're coming into Google Play to download apps, books, whatever, if you come over to the right hand side, you will see a little uh, gear. And that gear is your settings tabs, right? You got my orders, my settings, and you got Android device manager. Where in, when you're inside of here, you'll have to create your password and sign in. And then from here, you'll be able to have your devices and your devices will then start locating. Now it does help just like it does with the iPhone that you have Wi-Fi turned on and you have that the more, the more cellular reception you have, the more accurate it will be for finding these devices. Uh, and I got to go back and it says here I got to turn some devices on. Not a big deal. I just got a new device not too long ago, so that's why that's happening. So with that, though, you can find this device. And here you can see as well, you can ring it, you can lock it, and you can erase it. You can wipe it from here, right? No big deal about how that stuff goes. Pretty easy, really. But now there is one trick to that. It should be done by default, but you're always going to want to make sure you have it checked. So when you're doing this, you're going to want to come into your phone itself, right? You're going to go into your phone. You're going to swipe down. You're going to find your settings area. You're going to go down your settings, and you're going to look for security. 
And when you're in secure, you're going to look for device administrators. And with there, you want to make sure it says Android Device Manager. That's checked on. As long as that's checked on, you have access to this. And again, by default, I believe it is checked on. You always want to verify that. Those two tips right there will at least let you find, erase, and lock that device or even ring it if you got it lost in your house. You're not sure where it's at, you can ring it and you'll find it. Two easiest things that you can do right off the bat. That's what I'd be doing right now. Next we'll talk about is a real quick uh, app called Stitch. A nice little simple CRM tool for people that aren't using any real complicated system. Okay, the last little thing is a quick little app I want to talk to you about today. And I just discovered this by listening to All About Android the other day. It was one of their app arenas, which I thought was really quite fascinating. It's called Stitch, Stay in Touch. And for most agents, you're always trying to find reasons or, or trying to find remember time to call your clients. This is a nice little tool. If you sit there and you do it, you do stay in touch. Now, there is only an Android version there. I'm sorry, there is no iPhone. I don't know if there's an iPhone equivalent or anything like that. But for, for you Android users, which there's more and more every day, you install this app, and really all you're doing inside of here, when you're doing it, is you're going to have your contact names in here. And in there, you can see it says Ash Patel one week ago. It's the last time you called. So it's not going to tell you the last time you talked to him, but it's going to let you set reminders up. Last talk, talk every three weeks, talk again. Right? It's going to let you set reminders on how often you need to talk to your clients. This is awesome. So, you know, you have all these other applications. If you are not using a full-blown CRM, you know, top producer, whatever that's out there or something that you have bought a website that has this, this would be a great little app that has your clients in there. And you can set every three months, four months, whatever, every six weeks, whatever it is, where you need to sit there and call that client. And it's going to set up a little reminder that has you pop up in here and let you know when you're going to call them. You can put them on snooze and do things like that and set it up there. But I think this is a very fascinating app and it hopefully will be a great little quick solution. Not a total CRM because you're not going to be able to make comments of what you said. You're not going to be able to do all that stuff. But at least it will put a reminder out there for you to do that. If you're looking for something more sophisticated, I'll look at a full-blown CRM system and, and see what they have in those arenas. But for now, this is a great little tool and I think something you should use. So thanks for hanging with the professor. Anytime you guys want to chat, please let me know. You can find me on Twitter at JB Lethemy. Find me at Facebook at Professor of Real Estate, even on LinkedIn. Hope to hear from you guys soon. And if you have any questions, feedback, or anything, I'd love to hear it. Talk to you soon.